all this cold weather being inside. It's nice now we got the three cages and everything, but we'd rather be outside and on the field and seeing live pitching. Love them. I mean, from, from day one, they've been working their tails off, and what's not to like about that? So A brand new baseball season is almost here. Everybody has the same record. Zero wins, zero losses. Hope springs eternal. This is where we use all those tired cliches. They're cliches, but there's truth to them. The 2018 season was a year of growth. 2019 presents itself with renewed optimism. A year ago, the UMass Lowell Baseball Riverhawks were 25 and 29, but more to the point, they were 13 and 11 in America East Conference play. A second place finish in the regular season and the team came within seven outs of a trip to the tournament championship game. The season ended with two one-run losses. That end serves as motivation for a brand new season. You got to play all 27 outs, can't take anything for granted. Got to play in all different kinds of weather conditions. Uh, you know, we got beat by a kid hitting 143, but in the game of baseball, all you need to do is get that one hit and the kid, I tip my cap to him and got the big one and it kind of turned the, turned the tide in that game that we thought we were dominating pretty well, but uh, you know, that's the motivation for this year, you know, play all 27. Oh, this, this team undoubtedly can get to the championship and win it in the America East and should put up a really good fight and I believe that we can make it uh, a run for the national chip. Nick Rand is a senior right-hander with a high-velocity fastball and a nasty breaking ball. After being dominant in the closer's role his first two years, he towed the rubber as a starter last year and is expected to be penciled in at the top of the rotation in 2019. We know we can. We have the talent, everyone from freshman to senior, uh, to definitely win the regular season and put us in that first or second spot for the tournament and absolutely win that. And then afterwards, just keep winning, keep doing what we can, and playing baseball how we know we can. I think it always comes down to seniors and the core players, and we've got a, a good core of juniors and seniors that are going to help us get over that hump. And you got Nick Rand, a senior, our number one on the mound, and Steve Passatempo, who's been one of the best hitters in the league for three years, leading the charge. Uh, but it, it comes down to mental fortitude and playing all 56 games and taking every at bat to heart, every pitch you throw to heart, and you never know in this game what can happen. So these guys have really bared down and, and given, every, given us everything that we've wanted from day one uh, starting in September. We can go as far as we want. So, I mean, the pitching's there, the hitting's there, the depth is there, the base running's there. It's our mental approach to the game. Just staying the same, not getting too high, not getting too low, making sure team camaraderie, oh, oh, sorry I didn't pronounce that right, but that's, that's what it is, we're so close, you know, we love each other, we pick everybody up, and I think it's just our mental toughness will get us through. Steve Passatempo was a senior first baseman with an exuberant attitude. A power hitter with a 304 average a year ago, he has 26 home runs and 114 RBIs in 151 career games. My first thing at bat is just trying to get a pitch that I want to hit, not hitting his pitch. So early in the count, I'm looking for something that I want to hit, something to drive, especially with runners on base. And then once it comes two strikes, you just got to battle. I think we got to do a better job this year and getting the two strikes, not just giving that bats away, staying in there, following pitches off, knowing the zone better. You know, we don't want to give away outs. We think in our lineup that anybody will have the opportunity to hit the ball over the fence, uh, drive a ball into the gap to drive the guy in from first base. So we're going to swing the bats, and we're going to swing the bats aggressively, and I think you're going to see a heck of a lot better plate discipline once this, you know, once we get this thing going. Uh, the biggest thing is just put the ball in play. You know, I mean, I do strike out a lot, but I've worked on that a lot, and just contact is the biggest thing that I've been working on lately. Just getting the bat on the ball, and that's the best you can do, you know? Cam Clymer was an outfielder, a junior. Solid defensively, he's got a strong arm. As a hitter, Climo has power. He's working on plate discipline. And oh, by the way, he led the team last year in runs driven in. So I think this is the year where I kind of work those kind of together. Use the power, use my ability to just see the pitch a little bit better. Use my eyes. The biggest thing is pitch selection. You know, I know I have the tools in me, but I just have to make sure that I can incorporate all of them. You know, when you have a good group of brothers together, you want to work for each other. Everyone's up, you want to root for them and everything like that. Sometimes you have some people who can bring it down a little bit, but not this year. Not this year. It's awesome. I'm looking up. Definitely the fastball has to be working. If I can locate the fastball, then it'll make my other pitches better and just to try to throw them off. And then I rely like heavy on my fastball, so I can throw that by anybody at uh, any time. Ricky Constance, a big left-hander. He stands 6'6", and he throws hard. Constance strikes out more than 12 and a half batters. 
per every nine innings of work. And this year, he told the coach, he wants to be the closer. That's the best time of the game, and uh, you know everything's on the line. And I like pitching in uh, high-pressure situations. And um, I mean, everything's on the line at that point, and you're just trying to get the job done and finish the game out. The 2019 baseball season is just three weeks away, and the River Hawks, as is typical for teams in the Northeast, will start on the road, and it won't be easy. Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina will provide the opposition for the first 10 games of the season, and it should be fun. I want to put ourselves in a regional environment. Arizona, Georgia, UNC could all be regional hosts. If we get back to where we want to get to come May, uh, Labor Day weekend in May, we want to be playing you know, in a regional site, or the first weekend in June, we want to be playing in a regional site. We don't want that to be something different that we, than we've already seen. So we want to be comfortable in those environments. We want to have the fans yell at us and, and, and be that road team because when we get to a regional, that's what's going to happen. I don't want it to be a shock to them. And it's a great experience for these guys. You know, they're the same kids as we are. They, they just get to practice on their field a little sooner than us, but we do it for a reason. We want them to be tough at the end.